What's going on guys, FNL Studios here, we're back with another CutCom video, but I know we've been streaming lately, but it's going to be nice to get some videos out there. So today, we're on Advanced Warfare. So I know if you don't watch the streams, you only watch your videos, and you're going to click off now because I'm playing Advanced Warfare. But this is a serious subject because we're today we're going to talk about COD 2017. And if you don't know, the makers of COD 2017 are the same makers that brought us this game, which is a... You either love it, you hate it. I mean, there's there's no between. You either like it, you don't like it. So let's jump into the game. Let's start talking about what's upcoming in October of this year. <clears throat> okay, so let's get the basics of what we know about COD 2017 out of the way right now. So, COD 2017, is it made by the same people who made Advanced Warfare? Yes. Is COD 2017 boots on the ground? Yes, that has also been confirmed. Do we have to be nervous about this game because it's made by the same people who made Advanced Warfare? Absolutely not. And I'm saying that because of because because one first of all, they brought us Modern Warfare 3, which is debatably I wouldn't call it one of the best Call of Duties of all time, but it is one of the community's favorites. It's up there. I'd say top three community favorite games. Everyone loves Modern Warfare 3, especially multiplayer. It's just a very good, well-rounded game. I actually played a little bit of it today. It's it's incredibly fun. Do we have to be nervous when it comes to such favorite games? No. And you may be asking why I'm playing Advanced Warfare. One, if you've been watching our streams, you know that I am absolutely loving everything about this game right now. I can't tell you why. It's just that this game is the most the most fun a Call of Duty has been to me in a long time. And by a long time, I mean since, well, Black Ops 3, which was last year. But still, most of the time I've been playing Black Ops 3 lately has mainly just to play a game because I'm bored. But I'm actually playing Advanced Warfare right now because I want to, because it's enjoying, because it's something different and not the same thing over and over again. I'm not trying to roast Infinite Warfare right now, but it's actually it's the same game as Black Ops 3, just done a little worse than Black Ops 3 did it. And the one main thing everyone's got to remember is that even, even if this is a bad game that's coming out, even if it's a bad game, it's still going to sell like crazy. Because if you look it up on the internet, Infinite Warfare was the highest selling game of 2016. It sold more copies than Black Ops 3 did in 2017. It sold more copies than GTA. It sold more copies than Battlefield 1. It's most, it's highest competitor. And everyone just needs to remember that people are still going to buy the game. And everyone wants boots on the ground, which they're getting. So probably even more copies are going to be sold. Now you could say that a lot of people bought Infinite Warfare before Modern Warfare Remastered, but if you still look at the sales point, you had to buy Infinite Warfare to get Modern Warfare Remastered. So, for all we know, they could be playing Infinite Warfare too. And I guarantee you, 95% of the people who got Infinite Warfare for Modern Warfare Remastered have still tried to play Infinite Warfare at some point in time because it's a new Call of Duty. Because Modern Warfare Remastered is the same game that we played 10 years ago, or however many, however many years ago it was. But. Let's be honest, guys. It's the same game. We're getting the same maps. We are getting some new guns, which the, some of the community absolutely hates, but I am i don't really care. But it's the same game that we got 10 years ago. And I was only a kid when I when I first played that game. But still, I mean, I, st I still played it. I played it with my brother a lot. It's, this, it's, the same, it's the same thing. Same guns, same maps, same perks, same everything. But if you watch, like, the big guys, like, in Phase, like, any of the... Any of the guys who follow a Call of Duty news daily, Call of Duty news daily, you have seen that there have been some leaked pictures of the cover art for COD 2017. Now, if you did see those, it's reportedly saying that COD 2017 is called Call of Duty World War II. Now, I'm not going to put any images up here because Activision's crazy with copyright and stuff like that. And if I put a video up, this video could be taken down right away. But you can find it anywhere. There's a bunch of YouTubers that have posted things about it. It's 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 everywhere. If you just search up Call of Duty World War II, that's gonna pop up. Me, for me personally, that makes me very excited for this new game because it's bringing it back to where Call of Duty started. I mean, if you follow the CEO of Sledgehammer Games, they're saying they're taking Call of Duty back to its roots, which literally is World War II, which were the first however many Call of Duty games were set in World War II. Every Call of Duty game before the first Modern Warfare was all set in World War II, and I'm very excited for that. Now, one of the reasons I'm excited for Sledgehammer to be making this is because Sledgehammer has always treated snipers very, very well. The, uh, the sniping in this game and Modern Warfare 3 is absolutely amazing. I love both of them. I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's all—it's just, it's just the, to the right point of difficulty where it makes the game very fun. Another reason I'm excited is because the last World War II game was World... World at War, World War II game we got was World War. 
World at War. I can't speak right now. The last World War II game we got was Call of Duty World at War. And as you know, that was made by Treyarch. That was... Was that their first game that they made? I can't remember if it was that, that was the first game that Treyarch made. But that was the last World War II game we've gotten in the Call of Duty franchise. Now, I didn't really play multiplayer a lot in that game. I played a good amount, but I was mainly into zombies. I played a lot of Nocturne Tone. I played a lot of Darice, and that was pretty much it. And I got the last death. I hate my life. And sniping-wise in World at War, we had it was four bolt-action snipers. We had the most in the Gaunt, the Springfield, the Car 98K, and the Arisaka, which was it was a it was a bull action sniper from each of the group, four groups that were in World at War. You had the Germans, which was Car 98, the American Springfield, the Japanese computer. Really, I'm talking to them right now. The Car 98K, which was the Germans, and the Arisaka was the Japanese bull action sniper. Now each of them played a little bit differently because the scope would be a little bit different, and they would be zoomed in different. But it was also Treyarch's first Call of Duty game, so all of that was like it wasn't perfected yet, but. All that wasn't perfected yet by them. And we did have the PTRS, which is a gas power sniper that actually killed tanks in like three shots, which is ridiculous, which is the only semi-automatic sniper that was in the game. Now, me as a sniper, I prefer bolt actions just because they're more fun to use. It takes more skill to use them. And it's just, they're just generally more fun. Now, if we go back to World War II, I'm not going to guarantee that we're going to have uh, all those snipers back in the game. It would be awesome if they did, but in... Modern Warfare 3, you had three very, four very good snipers that you could have used on a daily basis that you could have switched each game. You had the, the AS-50, the L-11, the MSR, and the Barrett. And I mean, two of them are, yeah, two of them are semi-automatic, the other two are bolt actions, but you had four snipers where you could switch in between games to either one, and it would also, it would just be this, it would be fun either way, because they're all very consistent, get a lot of one-shots, and they're, they're just generally a lot of fun to use. Now, in Advanced Warfare, I didn't play it when the game came out, so I didn't. I don't really know the very like the usable snipers. I've only really been using this one, which is the Moors, which is this game's version of a bolt action, and you, you shoot it, you put another bullet in right away. But it's it's this it's it's Advanced Warfare's version of a bolt action. It's the same thing. It's just you just put a bullet in every time. It's the same thing as just pulling back the mobile. Now you do have the SVO, which is the Dragonov, which is in the game, which for some reason gets one shots there has never been a dragon off in a call of duty game that's gotten one shots but that's also a supply drop weapon so that yeah there is that but when you have a gun as consistent as the moors and as fun to use as the moors you don't really need to use any other snipers so am i nervous for cod 2017 a little not really though because here's here's the thing am i still gonna get it absolutely i just destroyed that guy Am I still going to get it? Yes. Am I going to pre-order it? Yes. May I go to the midnight release to it? Possibly. I went to the midnight release of Black Ops 3. I didn't go to the one Infinite Warfare because I was home and I was recovering from surgery. But still, I, I love Call of Duty. I have every Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare except Ghost, which I'm probably going to get this week at some point. But Call of Duty has been one of my favorite games for the longest time. And yes, it's it, Call of Duty is the same game over and over again. It, you're not going to... You're not going to get much much variety when it comes to Call of Duty. It's the same thing. A lot of multiplayer. First first person shooter. Snipers are one hit. It's the, it's the same thing. And do I believe that that makes the Call of Duty games suffer a little bit? No, absolutely not. Because people are still getting it every single year. People still want the same thing every single year. So I, it, I don't think that makes a difference. That's not a valid factor that Call of Duty is the same and stuff like that. Now, do I believe Exo Jumps may have steered a bunch of people away from Call of Duty? Yes, but at the same time, I don't understand why. Because when Call of Duty was the same thing over and again, boosting the ground all the time, people were complaining, oh, this is the same, it's never going to change, why, why don't they change anything? And then this game came out, the advanced movements came out, all the exo boosts and jumps came out, and then everyone hated it. So it's like, Call, Call of Duty community is going to find a way to, com to complain about something or something or another thing, and every single Call of Duty, no Call of Duty game is going to be perfect. And when you think of the best Call of Duties of all time, like... The first Modern Warfare comes up. Modern Warfare 2 comes up. Black Ops 2 comes up. And there is a, a decent amount of people that didn't like those games. And, oh jeez. Call of Duty will never come out with a perfect game. It's it's just it's just that way. Because even if one person thinks that this game is absolutely flawless, someone's going to find some way to complain about it one way or another. My favorite Call of Duty of all time is it's a toss-up between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3, the main reason because I put so much damn time into that game. But also just because it is 
it's you can't go wrong with black ops 3 yes it still has boost jumps and all that crap but it's not as crazy as this you don't really need to worry as about your movement as much in that game if you just stood on the ground the whole time and just ran around and shot people you would generally not do horrible would it help you a lot if you jumped around and did stuff yes you would be a lot better if you jumped around and did stuff but black ops 3 it perfected the whole jet prac movement the wall running was cool and Hey, again, it brought us zombies. Now, will I be upset if there isn't zombies in this new Call of Duty? Yes, a little bit, but that's not a deal breaker because I didn't get Infinite Warfare for zombies. It was a reason, but that wasn't like the reason like, oh, it's going to have zombies in it. I have to get this game. And Advanced Warfare did try their version of zombies, but that, in my opinion, it flopped. It's just, there's a lot of people that like it, but in my opinion, I, it's just, it's too different than normal zombies to be successful. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's like, because in ExoZombies, you get the exosuit, and that makes the zombies significantly easier, and like, by no means is ExoZombies easy, but when you can jump around and fly over the zombies, it makes you, getting out of tough situations, it makes it a, a lot easier. But anyways, we're getting off topic, back to COD 2017. Now, then again, these these pictures of Call of Duty World War II or whatever, they haven't been confirmed by Activision. No one's taken them down, which is usually kind of a sign that it's the game coming out because Activision will take them down right away, so there's not a lot of leaks. But, but here's the thing, when it comes to Sledgehammer, I will not be worried about what kind of game they come out with because they made Modern Warfare 3, and I am enjoying this game so much. I'm enjoying it more than Black Ops 3 and Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare combined right now. If I had to pick a Call of Duty to play right now at this moment, I'd play this one because it's the most fun to me right now. It's just a fun Call of Duty. But it comes down to this main point right here. It's just that no matter what happens, where this Call of Duty takes place, when this Call of Duty takes place, it's just... Call of Duty is gonna it's gonna sell. It, that's just, it's just how it works. Everyone's still gonna buy Call of Duty every single year just because it's Call of Duty. People are still going to buy it because they want the same thing, just a tiny bit updated. Now, is Infinite Warfare dead right now? Almost. And I'm saying that is because because right now we have three Call of Duties that are striving right now. Like, they're in their stride. And I, Infinite Warfare is, on, is third when it comes to those Call of Duties. Right now, the Call of Duty that's being played the most that I've seen is Black Ops 3. So people are still playing Black Ops 3 more than any other Call of Duty right now. A close second would probably be Modern Warfare Remastered just because people enjoy that more than Infinite Warfare. But Infinite Warfare is just behind just because it has it has that zombies, it has the multiplayer, so you have people playing both at the same time. Now the reason you don't see me or Adam playing a lot of Infinite Warfare is because when it comes to the zombies in that game, that those maps are like, I could play it once and then I don't have to play it for another two weeks. It's just the replayability on those maps I don't feel is there for me. And I don't have something that's that's drawing me back. Like I don't want to, I don't have any objectives to do or like something I want to do differently than the last run I did. And Black Ops 3 Zombies brought me my favorite Zombies map of all time, which is Derizen Drag. That map in my mind is, is perfect. There's nothing wrong about that. Oh my... God, I'm 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 so sorry, buddy. You're really ugly, but I'm terribly sorry. Dry and Jack in my mind is it's the best zombies map ever made. And I know people are my people might get triggered. They might say Origins the best map, Mob of the Dead's the best map, or something like that. But I I've played that map so much. I've been the Easter egg solo six times. It's just, it's such a good map. Now, does it matter if the next Call of Duty dies off halfway through the year? No. Because we still have Black Ops 3, which if it's still successful, Treyarch will still continually make new content for. And then the next game coming out is a Treyarch game. I think the Call of Duty company that's thriving most in this will Activision mostly. But Treyarch is doing the best out of anyone right now. Because Treyarch, the last two, three Treyarch games have been extremely successful. A lot of people love Black Ops 1. A lot of people love Black Ops 2. And... A ton of people love Black Ops 3. Now, uh, there's a bunch of people that hate the EXO move or the boost jumps and stuff like that. But when it comes down to it, Black Ops 3 revived the Call of Duty community. It did. It revived the franchise for one reason and one reason only. Because people are playing it. People are still playing it over the newer Call of Duty. If you think of another, a bigger reason than that of why it isn't the most popular game right now, then let me know. But for me... I see the most people playing Black Ops 3 over anything else. But I'm very excited for Call of Duty 2017 because Sledgehammer has, almost, has always treated the snipers very well. 
And this game is so fun. I don't understand why a lot of people hate it. I'm loving everything about this game. And I know there's not going to be EXO movement, but it's the newest Call of Duty. It's going back to World War II, where Call of Duty belongs. And it's it's going to be a good game. In my opinion, it's going to be a good game no matter what. If you guys have opinions about Call of Duty 2017, and whether you're excited or not, whether you're worried, whether you're all that stuff like that, please let us know in the comments below. And we will be, we will be streaming... If this comes out on Monday, we'll be streaming tonight. It's probably some sort of zombies thing. But if you have any worries about that, tune into that stream. Let us know in the live chat so we can we can talk about it to you guys in person to person. But me, I'm very excited for what Call of Duty is gonna bring, and it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a fun game, and we're gonna go back to boots on the ground, which is what everyone wants. Dude, why am I so good at the sniping in this game? I don't understand. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. That helps us out a lot. Share out this video because we are at 70 subscribers now. We want to get to 100. We are almost there. And at 100, we will be doing a live Q&A on probably Black Ops 3 Zombies or some sort of multiplayer in Call of Duty. But it will be Adam and I both the time. We're doing a live Q&A at 100. So if you could share this out with your friends, tell, us to, tell them to subscribe, tell them to watch our videos, tune into our live streams. We stream every day of the week. But... That would be very, very awesome. You guys, comment down below anything. If you're excited about COD 2017, anything you have seen or you have heard about it. But anyway, guys, that will be the video for today. Live stream probably tonight at some point if this is coming out on Monday. And yeah, follow us on Twitter to find out the times of those live streams. And uh, yeah, so we will see you guys in the next one. And you guys look really good today.